uh, expansion is huge, the natural, and the the third is actually a little far for Terran to actually block. So yeah, Zerg is a lot of. Uh, sneaking in ways from the beginning so uh, might be a, we have an issue already because Matsa is posing the game <laughs> it's simply pissing off uh, Vincent who's uh, Cubix probably using someone else's uh, account because he could not log with his own he's been having a little issues in the past so uh, we're still going to present the players so like in the top right grayed out corner of the map <laughs> as the Red Terran from Montreal Jean-Benoît Chlas, Chasle, <laughs> a.k.a. <laughs> Mad Sai. I'm sorry, Jean-Benoît, I always mispronounce your name. And in the bottom left corner, as the teal Zerg, the green Zerg, sorry, the minimap was teal. The green Zerg from Montreal also playing as Cubex, Vince, Vincent Cotino Soufflet. Woohoo! Who chose to go with the Zerg race? All right, so the game is back. Uh, no, no real issue. Guess Matsai needed to move his setup or something. So they're starting already. We have uh, Matsai sending his SCVs to build at nine, so pretty standard. Pretty standard indeed. W what were you thinking about this map? You asked my opinion, but like, did you have one? So it's a big map. So I'm assuming Zerg is going to be hatch first. Um, the Terran, I'm interested to see. Well, obviously, he seems to be like, you know, going to barracks and then maybe a gas and maybe a Reaper to scout. That'd be a, the, the classic, you know, matchup. Um, <laughs> and Cubic saying, hey, I'm Toss, by the way, I'm Protoss. So okay. we have a, a little troll here. The, the thing is, we all know that Mad Sai has practiced a lot watching his opponents' builds and like uh, replay games. So, you and usually do very little tricky, uh, very practice odd plays. But now he did not know that uh, Cubix would play Zerg until uh, this weekend, or then Monday, I believe, three days ago. So, I don't know how much he could have practiced something that's not standard because as far as uh, Mad Sai knew, he was going to play Random or Protoss. Yeah, and that's really interesting. He So he sends his two overlords on the corners, which is typical, but also he's sending a drone <laughs> just in case, you know, the enemy is in this corner, which, which he, he is. is. So that's very interesting because I think he knows Mad CSI is very aggressive as a Terran. Yeah. He wants to know exactly what's up from the start. He's going to see... Well, he's going to see everything. See <laughs> he, he couldn't get in, so he <laughs> nice doesn't know the gas time. timing, even if there's nothing built, because uh, Matsai saw it straight away. But we've seen in the past that <gasps> uh, even though Cubix nice. is not as at ease with Zerg, he's still very good. We have uh, Marines actually shooting his own bunker for <laughs> a little damage. But uh, it's it's still huge. Cubix knows there's a Marine out. He knows it's yeah. not going to be Reaper first who's going to go harass his drone, so he's, he Absolutely. doesn't have to build a queen straight away. So we went for pool and another hatch, as we can see. And well, that that's a normal opening. It's good. Yep. And now we have Mad Sai, who's actually very fast expanding Ooh. against Zerg. And On. very fast third from the Zerg as well. So either uh, Cubix determined that there was an expansion coming up or he still wanted to do very macro. Because yeah. if you go three hatch, uh, against a very, very one base aggressive Terran, it's going to be very hard in the beginning. Of course, you get a lot of advantage later on if you survive. Ooh. But still, did did that drone actually see the expansion? No. I believe it didn't. No, no, he didn't see it. It didn't. The Marines were placed perfectly to prevent that scouting. That's really good. Really well played. Because Zerg just expanded. So now he's like, hmm, am I going to get a fast... He attack. has to fear there. He saw only three Marines, however. Yeah. And there could have been more, but they could still be behind and hiding. <gasps> and two bunkers. He, he doesn't know what is open. In, in, in Matsai's position, like, he know he denied the vision of Cubix, so he can't assume Cubix took his third. Cubix needs to be a little careful in theory. Yeah. So he could just, like, assume uh, Terran's on one base and make a huge army to try and swarm in. That's why you see the bunkers coming up. You see the defense coming up. He needs to be to make sure he doesn't get uh, just slaughtered because he went yeah. uh, command center first and has no defenses. And one very interesting, you know, thing is that he 
hasn't seen. So of course he doesn't know that there's the expanse, but the Terran doesn't even know where the Zerg is. You know, it could be here, it could be here, it could be here. That he is doesn't correct. Know. Could be in ev any corner of the map. That said, I don't believe Jean Benoit needs to know that for the moment. He's gonna go straight for probably uh, oh, medevacs, and then like just go around the map and try to drop. You know. Yeah. So at the moment for Rex though, so or he, or need he could just scan when he needs to yeah. to find out. He needs. Um, hmm. Is he gonna just go with only? Well, only Marines. So far, he's only going Marines. We've we've known Jean Benoit to be very aggressive with the uh, odd timing. I mean, I would not be that surprised to see all those Marines moving out with SCVs and actually <laughs> push. <laughs> that That's said, very true. Uh, we have oh, uh, the Bainling nest. nest coming up, so that will hurt the Marines a lot if it comes in time. Marines finally moving out to try okay. and scout. We can notice that uh, Mad Sai is on three gas, while Cubic still only on two, however. That's true. Yeah, very few gases. And uh, supply is still pretty even. Mad Sai having uh, a lead because, uh, well, when you only have... Uh, when you go three hatch first, you will get the lead later on, but from the beginning it costs you a little more. But uh, once the Baneling Nest is up, there's not much oh, those Marines can do. He sees the Baneling Nest. He sees the Baneling Nest. He sees the, the Lair Tech. Yeah. He, he might know this is the time for him to actually push because Zerg can't have much. Well, he doesn't know his opponent has a third. Yeah. Uh, he actually doesn't even technically know he has an, a natural, but I mean, he's Ooh. assuming it. He knows it. Okay. But this is a lot of Marines now. salvaging the bunker, the, the Marauder moving out. I mean... And he doesn't have any circlings. Yeah, Cubix has nothing has to nothing. stop this. Well, nothing he, at all. He does I mean, see it. He does see now the Now attack. he sees the army. He knows it's coming. He knows there's a huge chunk of Marines with one Marauders. Okay. You can see the Zergling starting right away, but there's only two must have been leaving Larva. Yeah. Uh, yeah, of yeah. course, we, we can see four spine crawlers, which are going <gasps> to be key in it. Oh. The Zergling making sure, trying to see what's up. Oh, oh, but he's going to oh, see oh, the, oh. the Marines moving away. Yeah. And that's still that's still huge. That's really good because it bought him. It, it bought him time. He, he built 12 Zergling and now he knows he doesn't need to build more because the, wow. the army retreated. I mean, Madsai's Very lucky. Move, moving out like this forces Zerg to stop droning. Absolutely. But the question was, like, can the Terran arrive in time in the Zerg base to destroy a B3 or a B2 before all the Zerglings popped? And he could have, actually. But he was scared of Yeah, but getting he didn't know where the army was, what there was. And he yeah. knows there was a Baneling nest almost over. So yeah. if there had been Zergling already out, those Zerglings could have turned into Banelings before the Marines arrived. Absolutely. And then it could be a catastrophe. Oh, they I don't have speed. I mean, if Mad Sai is up to par with his splits and control, oh, yeah. could still handle it. But it's still risky. We Ooh. see the Spire going up. I'm not sure it's going to do well versus that many Marines, but it yeah, is going to split Mad Sai. He doesn't have any turrets. He does oh, not. He's going to snipe the overseer. Yeah, he does. Still, I uh, think he saw everything. He check. still has actually a fake marines with yeah, the rest of the army. Look at this. <laughs> like a, a, changeling, a changeling That's following crazy. the army, knowing where everything is. So he knows it's going. Matt's side doing a pretty smart move, actually, medivacs. keeping a few marines up the ramps to actually handle if the mutalics do come from the back. Yeah. Mm. So we can see uh, Cubic sending Zergling one at a time, trying to Second just scan. make sure he knows what's up, no expansion, where the Marines are, what's coming out. Uh, and Mad Sai making a good use of it, trying to do a few kills here and there. I mean, Zerg wants to spend money on Vision, fine, he's going to spend it, but he's going to lose it too. Yeah. That's and, oh, the Marines will actually get right under the Overseer just as it finishes. But Overseers are relatively fast, so it's going to be able to flee. <laughs> that said, the Changeling did not flee. And some, some good creep coverage as well. Like Yeah, spread creep is awesome. actually uh, pretty slow considering, like... Well, it's pretty fast considering he only went with like one mm. or two queens at the beginning and spread from the main instead of sending creep uh, queens outside and spreading okay. out. But uh, but still, now we have the Vikings actually moving out, so the Mutalis might not be able to do much. But Cubix took his fort. I and mean, still no turrets, if, if Matsai does not manage to do a very hard blow very fast with this drop incoming, he could be very far behind. Yeah. That said, this drop could still do a lot of damage. Where are the spine scroller? I know I know there's like four of them. There there's are, two here, B3. two at the third. 
and now the Vikings oh. and the Vikings keep sniping his overlord. That's gonna cost yep. uh, Cubix well money, and it's gonna prevent him to bring reinforcement for that attack. Yeah, and the medivacs that went to the left, they knew that they would be seen, so they just you know changed directions. That's well, that's good, but Ooh. like medivacs trying to regroup might change an idea I'm and like sure. do a full f push from the front. Yeah. Uh, which is actually pretty good because, well, Matsai has a bigger... Uh, Does he bigger have team. enough? But those Baneling have speeds. Yes. And this could hurt Ooh. a lot. Marines moving on creep, but they don't know where the enemy is. And here they go. Those Marines going inside oh. the medevac, which is actually a good nice. call. But the Mutalisk will prevent it. All the Zerglings moving in, but they're in front oh. of the Banelings. No. The Marauders, will, will we have it? Trying to, Zerglings are... Sorry. Banelings are trying to pass, but they can. They're blowing on the Marauders, which is bad, but... But the Terran army is just melting. I mean, the last hits were sufficient. Yeah. And now, and now the Mutalis can just kill everything that's left. The, the Medivac trying to win some time. But no, the, the Mutalis will hunt down those Medivacs. That's, that's a huge win for Cubix because since he's on far base, now he's just taken a huge lead and he's no longer in danger of dying. Then there goes the last medivac. So Terran on two bays and no with turrets. no army, only on 83 supply. And that will hurt. I mean, uh, the mines yeah. might save uh, just everything if, like, Zerg just moves in and dies. But uh, he's going to know there's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> Little One kill by just, the mine. Just discovered that to the cost of her own life. Yeah, but look at this. Four bases and, like, no turrets. And the B1 or B2, I'm really surprised by this because Matt CSI knows. Well, Matt you know, CSI is very short on money. I mean, well, true. not that short because he has 600, he, but he needs to make up an army because he lost everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And and that's huge. Zerg could just swarm in and like the mines actually, well, are not useful because Zerg didn't yeah. attack, but in case he had, would have been crucial. So Absolutely. it's a very good play from Matt Sai. He needed to defend, he needed to make those mines. They are the only thing keeping him alive right now. I'm, I'm surprised he didn't oh, attack with his Oh, this could hurt. Oh, careful, the careful, passing careful. Over the mine, <gasps> but the, mine, the okay. mine is not ready to shoot. And they moved out. <laughs> that was risky, and he realized it, moved away, and then sent back only one unit. But it could have been terrible. We have a few minivacs moving out, but they were spotted by a Zergling, yeah. which is going to prevent the idea having to turn back to to his main very good uh, vision from the Terran. yeah uh, from, uh, from, the zerg. Zerg, from zerg zerg is doing a great job seeing his opponents we've seen a lot of banelings just put up right now we have uh what is it plus three now and we have ultralisk uh on the not uh upgrades on the yeah. way for zerg zerg's uh ahead in in upgrades and researching three and two for a mutalisk attack so this will hurt a lot. And he knows where the army is. And he knows, unless, well, he doesn't, he might not know every spot if there's a hidden base, but since there's not, he knows Terran's on two bays. He knows, he knows he's well ahead, actually. Oh, yeah. Four and bases? He, I, I believe he's just waiting for Ultralist to be ready. He's going to push with what he has yeah. and to transfer to Ultralist straight afterwards. That's what he's waiting for. Now, yeah. two Ultralists are already building with... Uh, the, the plus three armor and since he already researched the ultrask upgrades it's gonna it's gonna make them very strong and hard to kill for a marine based army even no. with the mines is he going for it no no he's, he's, he's just making sure terran stays on two base playing it yeah. safe he's gonna be max very soon uh, he has four four functional bases while terran only has two he's gonna starve him to death that's impressive yeah four bases that said, he His could end up be, being a little more aggressive, maybe yeah. trading some, forcing Terrence to always lose money on an army. But here comes all go. the SCVs and the army. <gasps> uh, Matt's, but the mines are not borrowed. And oh, my the God. There, and the Banelings are no. going to make a huge hit. Oh. On the, but not that huge a hit, but still. But now there's a Ultralisk on the, uh, oh, in yeah. the army, and Ultralisk are going to deal damage. And what's bad for Matt's is that the army is near his base and not near the Zerg. So even if he does kill everything, yep. he's still very very far he does actually yeah. kill everything so that's pretty good but but how many workers is there left i mean <laughs> that that's all in Not that's many. it he Just needs 16. to make a kill there but zerg has four bases and marines yeah, has to cross the whole map I mean, it's an all we have Banelings on the way. 13 Banelings, 13 Mutalis. I'm not sure Mutalis is a good call, but you have the Ultralis there who's going to protect. 
It's like it's all in here for for uh, yeah. for Matt Sai. He doesn't have that many SCVs to soak the damage this time. Like uh, Cubic's playing it safe, knowing he doesn't want to lose his army before it's ready. Waiting for everything to be there and then attacking. We have the split Ooh. from Matt Sai. The big battle in the middle, the, but the Banelings are moving in and they're gonna start to hit. And there, there goes. There goes uh, Mansai's yeah. army. That that's it. That's there goes it. The army's one. over. So so it's pretty much over. I mean, yeah, we have the GG. Wow. GG Cubix. QB one. Congratulations for the first match of the best of three. Uh, best of five. Sorry. Um. So. Wow. Like, we we've seen it. It's the same kind of uh, of. Uh, Worker attack that uh, Matt Side did against Protoss last time, but seems to not be as effective against Banelings. Yeah, no, it's, I think the biggest mistake was just lack of vision. He didn't see B3, he didn't see B4, he didn't know what technology on That's correct. until the last uh, attack. I've seen a lot of play from Matt Side to actually play blind, knowing what his opponent was going to do and assuming stuff. Uh, and the build he did right now was one of those, I, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it was a pretty solid build, but it was made totally blind. Yeah. And unlike uh, unlike Mad Sai, Cubix actually had vision all the time. He was sacrificing minerals over minerals to send Zerglings to make sh and uh, Overlord just to make sure he knew what was up. And well, it paid off. It w it was worth the cost. I mean, what? It's two Zerglings for fifty minerals and one Overlord for hundred. So yeah. even if he lost two or three Overlords and like ten Zerglings. It is a lot eventually, but um, even if it's it's it, it's a lot of minerals, but he had four base, he could afford it, and he knew all the time what was up. So great call, great plays from Cubix. Uh, he must have practiced a lot, actually, because even though he didn't tell until the last minute he was allowed to, yeah. he knew he was going to play Zerg. Yeah. And so, so he practiced Zerg. So he practiced Zerg. Yeah. Yeah. Probably all the week of uh, we were off. Yeah, no, it was a really good play. Um, I liked how he mm, he played the poker game, the Zerg play at the beginning, because he droned on up to fifty-one drones, I believe, and economically he was way ahead of the terrain. That's correct. Uh, Zerg actually went three bays without seeing the expansion of of yep. terrain, which can actually work, but it's risky. Ballsy. If, if Matt yep. Sai had gone very cheesy, which he has he could in have, the past. Yeah. He could have like slaughtered the Zerg and then take his expansion and yeah, he would fine. have lost the match probably. So yeah, uh, but then again, uh, I'm not gonna say Cubix went blind on this because he kept sending uh, the pro to actually try and scout, and he never saw more than three Marines. He mm. never saw the expansion, but never saw the three Marines. So either the he expansion assumed. was up and he could not see it, yep. or Matsai was teching, or he was keeping the Marines behind. The only thing that would have killed him was the mm. keeping Marines behind. And, like, that's rare. Yeah. I mean, it happens when you yep. go super cheesy. But That's true. Anyways, here's the second map starting. Uh, it's going to be on Cactus Valley. So in the bottom right corner this time is the Green Zerg. We have, again, Cubix. Woohoo! And in the bottom left this time. So they're not on opposite corners. In the bottom left as the Red Terran, we have Mad Sai. So Matt Sai is behind, knowing Matt Sai is behind and he's staring against Zerg on uh, Cactus Valley map. Yeah. What's he thinking? What's he going to do? All in with the, <laughs> the VCS? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, might be, might be. Uh, there's nothing like doing the same strat twice <laughs> in a row to surprise your opponent, especially when it was a losing one. Yeah. <laughs> Personally, I, 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 he think, has to do something, I think he I has guess. to do something different. I mean, yeah. uh, Cubix has gone... Mutalisk against a marine-based army, which is very weird. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and Madsai had marines, had vikings. He was made to build the opposite army, but he was lacking the mines to handle the banelings. So I'm assuming we're going to see mines way earlier from Madsai this time. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, what we know of Cubix is that his main is Protoss, and every time we've seen him play Zerg, he's gone... Mutal, uh, he's gone z uh, Zergling Mutalisk into Ultralisk. Yeah. That's what he did against Protoss. That's what he did last game. He probably, be, since it's not his main race, he, he's not as good with Zerg, but he practiced this build and he's good with that build and he's very good at it. Yeah. 
And it's going to be Reaper. It's a question, yep. It's a question of seeing how, um, how Mad Sai will a be able to learn how to handle this. Yeah. What I would do, <laughs> knowing that he's probably going to be uh, expanding very fast, is maybe do a bunker rush with two Reapers or something. You know, that'd be interesting. That'd be interesting. We have the Reaper already starting. So this time I'd sign up wanting up. to be uh, caught with no uh, scouting of the whole game again. Like there was only one scan at one point that actually told Matsai where yep. Cubix was, but he never made it there physically. Okay, and sees him. And he sees the gas with the two workers. <laughs> I think he saw it in time and he's... But He's we like, haven't okay. changed. There's no more workers in gas. Mansai reacted to this. Either he wants to confuse changed. his opponent and is going to put them back in, or he just changed totally because he got scouted. Or yeah. it was only to get gas to make one Reaper and he's going back to Marines. No, I think he changed it because he got scouted and he also changed the position of the Reaper because he knows his opponent is on the on the far right. So he's like, okay, he knows I'm close by. He's just going to do some defenses. Let's go with the Reaper right now. Matsai doing the expansion straight away, but it's going to get scouted instantly by this drone. Ooh. Forcing a cancel. That's that's big. That's I, weird. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think that's it was a mistake. That's a little overkill. I think it was a mistake. It's, oh, it's no. a little overkill. <laughs> no, it was a mistake. Uh, Cubic's not happy that there's a Reaper killing his <laughs> expansion, but he does not Why? cancel, so not forcing a second cancel. But there's yeah. a Queen. Queen can handle the Reaper relatively oh, easily. Yeah. Not sure why Cubix is, is angry about this. I'm feeling he's doing yeah. well. The, the drone's going to die because <laughs> it's, no, it's, well, oh, man. it's not going to die just yet, but, I mean, it wants to prevent the reactor. It wants <laughs> to prevent the hurly attack. We have... Uh, what it is it? A everything. second barrack and a command center going up for Mad Sai. So yeah. a lot of aggression into expanding since he couldn't earlier. Careful. Now, now the Careful, Reapers actually Reaper. king, but the Reapers. Oh, oh, that was sloppy from Mad Sai. Was probably like handling his main and his macro, wanting to be ready. But yeah. losing the Reaper is huge, especially to bain to Zergling without speed. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's unfortunate. And now we oh. have the drones wanting to see if the expansion is up. Actually, just scouting, no expansion moving out. He, he knows the expansion's underway, but it's still not in place. But he knows it's just a matter of when is it going to be dropped. And I believe Mad Sai is in the huge trouble because the Baneling oh, yeah. Nest is almost <gasps> over. And once this Baneling is over, Baneling Nest is over, the Banelings can bust that front. And w what does Mad Sai have? Two Nothing. Marines with Stim? Well, he doesn't even have Stim Ooh, yet. First but bunker. Uh, the bunker's up. It's going to help. It's going <laughs> to force. Bit. But, I mean, with enough banelings, he go. can just bust the bunker. Yeah. And if he busts the bunkers, he kills the marines inside. And then what's, what's Mad Sai left with? I don't think he's enough. And Mad Sai is doing a lot Actually, of tech. I mean, a, it's good to have plus one. It's good to have stim. But not that he will early. not have it in time to handle the army. And it's too early to, to do that when you know your we opponent have, is... You yes, know. and we have speed now that's done. And... Eight Ooh. Zerglings on the way with four more Banelings. Like, that's going to be uh, seven plus four. No, that's going to be seven Banelings. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But he sees them. He sees them. There you go. He saw the Banelings, however. I think he saw them. Yeah, well, yeah, he's moving out to actually kill them. No, he's he gonna, sees he's them. He's going to kill one. But the Zerglings oh. are actually going to surround them. They're far from the bunker, <gasps> and those Marines and Marauder are just oh surrounded. No, the surround missed, but still losing oh. one, two. A third one here moving, trying to do a wall in in front of the bunker, but the Banelings will have none of it. Oh. Moving around. But what are they doing? <gasps> and the, of the, the SCV is moving to Ooh. prevent the bunker from dying, but they're too late. And, and that's what I said. I mean, yes, the Banelings all die. The walls still stand, but... The expansion yeah. has been prevented. And he and has two uh, marines. How many no, workers three. died there? <gasps> many. I don't know. Hang on. How many workers did Control die? Control A, I believe. Control A. No, yeah. that's, that's the current number of workers. But still, <laughs> it's 18 to 35. Gives us a good idea that... Uh, so worker killed nine. Is nine. nine worker died from the Baneling bust. And yeah, that's, that, that's going to hurt. Night, nine base. SCVs out, and without an expansion on one base, it's going to hurt. Now, there's not enough Zergling to actually back the, the, the Banelings, but still, now the door is open. Yeah. But there's not enough Banelings, Zergling, but there's no army. So, who Whoa. cares? The Banelings will do a little damage, kill a few SCVs here and there, so a few more dies. Oh. Nice Baneling hit, but it takes two to actually kill SCVs. So. And the first mine is out, And luckily. the mine is out, so Cubics should can't... Help. Cubics should... <laughs> Just 
stop attacking, but not stop attacking. <laughs> he should hang into the natural of Terran. And the Zerg just stops his attack. Nothing's coming. Look at no, this. That's correct. That's drones. a good call. I would still hang a few, a little army inside the, the natural, force Terran to stay on one base. And, and like, it's 50 to 22 supplies. I mean, he has a tremendous worker lead. Oh, yeah. And I was going to be have a third base. Not much Terran can do right now. He's supply blocked. I mean, he's trying to build mines, but I don't know if he noticed. <laughs> he but because he lost every... Well, he noticed. He's building one. Yeah. But because every one of his supplies depots died, well, his supply block. I, as a Zerg, I would have, a, you know, carried on the attack. It was just so open. Well, Keep the pressure. Well, there's a risk because I don't know if he saw the mine, but assuming he yeah. did... You can lose all your Bailings and yeah, all your Zerglings very easily. At least destroy the B2. You know, prevent the B2 from being used. Yeah, I would I would have prevented. I would have left a few Zerglings, maybe 10 or so, inside the natural just to and again, at least know the expansion's up, you know? Yeah. And again, he sees everything. He sees what's coming. You know, he sees what's coming, barracks. but he didn't scout the, the new natural. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I don't know how the much he knows, knows about everything. it. everything. Nothing. No, he doesn't even this. know there's a turd, although he could assume it at this point. And the spire. And the spire is going up. So as I said, Cubic's going Zerglings mainly into spire, into mm -hmm. Ultralisk eventually. I mean, the advantage of Mansa is that it's he might upgrades. know what's coming. <laughs> he might know what's up, even if he didn't scout it. Yep. Like, and he pl he's placing his mines to protect his base, which That's is the good. right call. I mean, he cannot wall, he cannot stop the army from coming, but he can do, you send your army, it dies. <laughs> that said, the CV might die too. So it's pretty risky. I mean, I would not want to be my side right now, but nope. he's not done yet. And he's going to try his best. Seven Mutalisks, I think. So oh, no Mutalisk kind of ways. Well, still he's droning waiting. behind okay. it, uh, which is fine. At this point, attacking can be dangerous for Cubix, he, and he has a huge lead. When yeah. you're ahead, stay ahead. That said, he needs to make sure he doesn't just get countered. I mm -hmm. mean, but... We have the upgrades moving up, and uh, Madsai, well, Madsai does have upgrades. He made them earlier, too, but... Oh, a second Spire? A second. So I'm, I'm assuming we're going to see a lot of upgrades from Cubix from the Spire. <laughs> it's going to go f a strong air. That, oh, uh, or it's a mistake, but I believe it's not. I believe he's going to go with a lot of upgrades. He wants his Mutalist to actually deal damage yeah. and survive the Marines. And 26 Zerglings in production that just yeah. came out. And uh, we're going to have high tech. So either Ultralisk again, or maybe Broodlords. Who knows? Yeah, Broodlords maybe. Now three Zergling, three Marines uh, just trying to scout, going to find the Zerglings are there, going to kill him. Uh, that's bad for Mansai. Not that he lost his Marines. I mean, the scout, I mean, what's bad is that he lost the scout. He wanted to know what was up. He saw yeah. there's a lot of Zerglings. Uh, so so he's, he doesn't know what his opponent is changing to. Well, it's definitely going to be either Broodlords or Mutalisks. Yeah. So we're going to see pretty soon. We have 12... Mu 12 Muta in production. We have 12 Mutalisk uh, building straight away. Uh, and tr that that's strong, actually, because he can move in and kill the SCVs. Yeah. And, like, Matsai is still way behind on workers. Definitely. And no turrets. And it has no turrets. That's right. He has Not mines, however. One. Uh, there's no mines in the main, but there are mines in the expansion. So depending on how the attack <laughs> pans out. But again, again, okay. we have Mad Sai saying, I need to deal the damage before the army is up. And the only way is that I send my army before my opponent's ready and with workers. But but, but there was it. a changeling there. Yeah. And now Matt Cubix is just going to take him from behind. <gasps> And, oh my God. Like, and the SCVs are, oh, the are away. They're just going to fall to the Zerglings. The Bailings oh, no. won't even have to <laughs> bust against them. And like the army's moving, but without Ooh, the SCVs, hurt. this push is a lot it's less strong. Hurt. And he's moving in. The Zerglings, but the positioning with the minerals, great move from, from Mad Sai. Oh. But is this going to be enough? No, the Bailings just slaughters everything. And now the, the Mutal is killing. And we have the GG again. Wow. Same same strat from both players mostly, yep. but very different execution. And Matsai got so far behind at the beginning, uh, he couldn't come back. He just couldn't come back. He just couldn't. You're right. <sighs> what, what what did you what, think? What, yeah, what did he do wrong? Like what what did Matsai do wrong this game? Again, not enough vision. 
Not enough say. vision, but it was so early. There's not much he could have done. He had the Reaper. He lost the Reaper, which killed his yeah. vision. But he knew what was coming. I, I believe... Um, my, my point, my point, not my point, my call might be he made the wall at the main entrance and not at the natural. Yep. So he could not defend the natural. That's true. That hurts. Mm -hmm. Like he went with the bunker very late and he, he couldn't do anything with it. Okay. And third map is going to be Coda. Third map's Coda. Much smaller. So much smaller. Uh, two base. They're going to know where the other player is. So no mm -hmm. more uh, not knowing. Easier yeah. to wall, I think, for Terran. Right. Yep. yep. Uh, the so round is smaller. Yeah. So might might see that might be why actually uh, Matt's hiding the wall outside from the start might have considered too risky. I, I'm saying this, but the the ramp of Coda, as we can see right now, is still one of the two player maps with the largest ramp. Yeah, the second of the expansion. Yeah. So I don't know. That then again. As Matt said, I would want my expansion to be behind the wall. I know, I know the Baneling bus, when it busts your expansion wall, hurts a lot more. Yeah. But it's so much easier to defend. We have Matt Sai uh, <laughs> saying he might rush this game, <laughs> offering his opponents uh, some mind game with saying he might proxy, saying, like, uh, <laughs> make sure you know. <laughs> Cubic saying, I know. That said, uh, when, when you say you're going to proxy, <laughs> do you? <laughs> we have Cubic saying you can see the other player's screen inside the, on the one minute delay chat screen. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, I think, oh, well, no, actually, classic, not classic a rush, not a proxy. At the, the main ramp again, so yep. not, not following our advice. So it, it's almost like he's not hearing us. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> so, what, what would you do? Because he's, you know, he's lost two matches. It's the best of five, so if Zerg wins, it's over. I'm not very good as Terran myself, but okay. uh, I would have expanded straight at the the, the natural, mm -hmm. and I would go for my for mine very very fast. Yeah, or tanks against Banelings, just defending tanks. Two yes, of them. but uh, the Banelings can arrive too early for the tanks to actually be there. I would mm. still make at least one mine, or maybe even two, before the tanks. Yep. But yeah, tank uh, could be a nice transition. But mines are very easy to bypass when you're zerglings. You know, just Not just if throw it, one, it, it's true. it will die, and that's it. it. It is true, but if you have a wall and you place your mines properly behind the wall, or in one, one in front for the first baneling and one just behind for when the, all the rest come, I mean... Zerg cannot know the exact composition of the mine placement. Mm. So, yeah, you can send one Baneling. The thing is, if he sends one Baneling, you can have one Marauder kill it. Yeah. Like, what Just I would do one is Zergling. one Marauder in front of the, of the, um, of the wall. Yeah. And one mine behind it, but right beside it, who's mm -hmm. just there, like, to kill everything that comes. That's not one Baneling who blew up on the Marauder. Yeah. Now uh, we have uh, Cubix who knows there's no proxy. He's going to lose his overlord straight away, but he knows exactly what's up again. So one more time, Cubix very strong with the vision. Yeah. I mean, he knew where his opponent was. It's pretty easy for an, to be, for an overlord to be sacrificed in this way and just be sent. But still, he knows. Yeah. An expansion for both players. The Zerg one being a bit earlier, obviously. Oh, when he's blocked, his supply blocked. Well, the overlord died, uh, provoking the supply yeah. block. Yeah, yeah. And but there's two underway, so it's it's a little setback. It's not that huge. I mean, no. it's not free. But when when you sacrifice an overlord, you need to take it into account beforehand. Yeah. But uh, as we say, Cubic's not his main race, so a little bit sloppy. But it's really, really not critical. Yeah, and it's the beginning of the game, so it's okay. Yeah, I mean, the beginning, it's important that you still not forget your droning, that you don't get behind, mm -hmm. but he doesn't get behind. I mean, he would have built this, and he still doesn't have... He's not losing larvae. I mean, he's spending them all, so no uh, no huge deal there. Yeah. First queen in productions. We have the One queens. The we have speed be being built. Not, no third yet, so either he doesn't know about the expansion, but he's, he's going to find out he straight knows. away. Yeah, he knows. Or he intends to be aggressive this game. And yeah. again, Mad Sire with an expansion with there no wall. Go. 
I mean, oh, here, here comes the third. So uh, being contradicted by uh, by Cubix, he's gonna scout, making sure there's no hidden shenanigans and build his third. And again, Matt CSI hasn't scouted, so he doesn't know if there's a second base or whatever. He doesn't know anything. He should at least send one Marine just to check, you know, check B3, check the expansion, see yeah. what's happening. And instead such he a part. I mean, he's yeah. scanning. Yeah, instead of wasting scans, I believe the 50 minerals from a, mari from a Marine dying. Or is it, the, is it 50? For the, the Marines? scan? Oh, the, yeah, it's 50. It's 50. 50. So the 50 minerals from the Marines, I believe, is not rentabilized by missing a mule. A uh, mule is more efficient. Yeah. So, so yeah. He, could, he should just send the Marine. Yeah, definitely he should. So, yeah. And I now think, the I think, nest again. I think he's scared. He want to keep his army because he made no wall. Keep in mind, if he sends Marines, yeah. he can die. I mean, he can still die. If Matt, uh, once that Baneling Nest is over, because we're having the exact same play for a third time from both players. Yeah. Once Why he thinks Baneling it's working? Over, He's like, why should I stop? For Cubics, it's working. What I'm surprised is to see the exact same thing from Matt's side. Yeah. Probably because uh, that's what he's at ease with on the ladder against Zerg. You know, he's getting ready. Yeah, he has his army, no he has his push. But it's not working. I mean, now he's no. doing the bunker, however. And this time he has the wall ready in front of it. So I don't know if he made it earlier than last game or if uh, Cubix is just later than last game because last game I don't think Cubix had his third already. So there is a little difference and this time uh, the bunkers might be able to protect yeah. the natural. Ooh, eight overlords in production. So, <laughs> so we're going to see a lot of drones or a lot of zerglings. I think a lot of zerglings. <laughs> I think so too. What will it be? We have Mad Sai who's actually ahead in supply and doing a lot of production while uh, Cubix is doing nothing at all. Yeah, what's happening? Uh, I'm not sure what's what's going on, oh, but here go. goes 26 Zerglings <laughs> on the way. Now, there's no Baneling yet, but the Baneling is it. then. He sees the army. The question is, what will there will they be ready in time? The map is not that huge, but once the Zerglings are done, they still mm. need to shift into Banelings. Yeah. We have yeah, 36 yeah, yeah. Zergling now, so 12 more building built. And here goes straight from the top five Banelings, but there's not enough minerals to build more. But yeah, the Banelings will be ready in time. Yeah. That said, the turn might get attacked instead of the natural. And it's going to be a lot Ooh. harder because those Banelings do not have speed yet. But the Marines, if they go there, will not <gasps> have a retreat path. Ah. And there they go, Stim, but the Banelings are moving, the Zerglings are making a surround, killing the Zerglings. We have Kiting here and there, but the Zerglings making sure the Banelings can do their hit. And there goes, first good hit, and the, the Marauder is going to fall, the, Marine, oh. the Zerglings killing everything, and, and Mad Sai just lost everything again. Yeah. And this counter will hurt <laughs> big time. What does he have, you know, to defend? He has the bunker and a little army, like, okay. uh, Mad Sai, uh, Cubix needs the Banelings, <gasps> but he, and he's salvaging. What? What is he doing? I think I think he, he doesn't expect his opponent to attack straight away and wanted to to have money to actually <laughs> build an army, but maybe. But what? <laughs> I I mean that's that's uh, terrible because now there's a lot of banelings. Yeah. And yeah. without Look at the this. bunkers, those banelings will just Look slaughter everything. What do you do against such a large force? And here the Baneling, oh. the Baneling is making a little mistake spreading in oh. all directions, but doing great hits here, even if the Marines plays themselves yeah. very goodly, the Banelings is just... Well, again, I, <laughs> I'm speechless. Again, the, the Terran army just melts away. Now those Marines yeah. with this position nice are going to be able to deal with the Zerglings, but like they cannot deal with the reinforcements. But, and the reinforcement. Here, here they are, the Marines moving away from their Whoa, safe position. Are they and in they, the base? They're no, in the base, okay. but there's not enough. I mean, yeah. I would have stayed down just prevent the expansion yeah. again. Uh, Cubix and look at this. could not kill, but what's building four. behind? 26 more Zergling. And look at this, four idle SVC, uh, VCS. So, yeah. It's too much. When you need, like, the economic advantage, just and too here, here goes the Zerglings yeah. coming, just preventing, as I was saying, the expansion. I mean, with three bays, if Cubix can keep uh, Mad Sai inside his natural yeah. only, yeah, he's won. And 11 Baneling, so you just, you know, bash through those, you know, barracks. And it's he over. does, but there is 12 Marines and two Marauders, so it's. Yeah. I, I, I don't think I would attack if it was uh, Cubix. He might. Mm. I think I would just sit there. 
expand make mutalisk. <gasps> no, but no, no. The drop. The drop. The drop. Now is the leaving. question is, what's gonna happen? I mean, oh, I mean, did you see the drop? Did he see it? No, I don't think he did. But he needs he needs to to take into account that this drop will deal damage. <laughs> so he needs to. But now he's like, see that there's the an army? opportunity for him to just outright kill his opponent because the yeah. army's not there anymore. <gasps> and here he goes, the Baneling moving, oh. but they all suicide inside the Marauder, which oh, is nice uh, save. bad. Nice save from uh, the Medivac, actually, preventing. And the Marauder's doing a great job. And, and, and there's wow, the drop. Actually, with the drop moving and the army who just sacrificed itself, this might deal the damage necessary. But there's 33, yeah, there's 33 Zerglings. And they're coming. They're, but they're moving straight out. That, I believe, might be a mistake because he could just sacrifice the base, make bandlings, and make sure he doesn't lose anymore. Yeah, yeah, now yeah, the, yeah. The Pick them up. Matt Pick them up. Matsai has the great position. The banelings cannot surround him, cannot kill him, and Ooh. he's making a huge ton of destruction with it. Nice actually, save from Matsai. This yeah, actually, actually might have move. saved him. The positioning saved his marine. The positioning saved his marine. The way he handled the attack that his main saved uh, his, his main. Uh, great, great defense here from uh, from Matsai. But we now we have the Banelings on the way. And with Banelings, this positioning will not be enough. The queen preventing yep. uh, any drop at a weird angle, at a weird place. But but he's just going to deny sweep instead. That's good. Which is Pretty, pretty okay. Yeah, he needs to buy as much time as he can, basically. And uh, Matt actually took the supply lead this time. Yeah. How's it going on the worker count? On the worker count, you've got 26 for Matt Sai and 41 for Kubik. So, so Matt, so Kubik still way ahead in worker count, but he's only on two bays now. Zerg does not want to be on the same amount of bays as Terran, so he will need no. to expand again, unless again, he intends to crash. We have the, the spire, the spire building, so. Interestingly, three very different games with exactly the <laughs> same builds from both players. Yeah. Okay. He's droning back up. We have plus one, plus one going up for Pro uh, for Pro for Zerg, but plus one. Uh, we already plus two, plus one for Terran. Yeah. That that yeah, might yeah. be another reason why actually Mansai was able to defend. Absolutely. Makes a big difference. And Ooh. now we have the Is medivac he? trying Ooh. to move in, trying to Almost find an lost opportunity. That one. They're going to drop at a place that's, again, abusing the positioning of the maps. Yeah. But he's moving in, trying to prevent the upgrades. He's going to force the, the, the army down, lift it up. Careful. But one he's medevac falls. Oh. But it was the empty one. Well, <laughs> not empty. There was one unit in it. But still, we can see the remnants of the Terran medevac. Well, <laughs> the friend says, we forgot Bobby and, <laughs> and the medevac driver behind. John. Sacrificed himself so we could flee. And third base being, uh, you know, having been built. Yeah. We have Zerg actually building it. his third at the moment. But uh, Matsai does not want to be behind on bases this time. And the Mutalisks, no turret. No turret, no mines. He's going to double check it. He's going to see it. And then uh, I would say there attack on two fronts. There is one turret fronts. under construction. Yeah, but, but not on the right not place. not at the right place yeah, at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Look at and this. And we have one Mutalisk actually like just being annoying. He's not going to do any kills. He's no, just going to just, check and, just and leave. Checking. There's nothing. He's going to move. I mean, if I was Cubix now, I would send more Mutalisks there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send them as soon as possible. Just but prevent. now it's too late. The fact that he only yeah. sent one actually backfires because now there's an army of Marines. That said, it forces the Marines to split. And yep. if he moves with the Baneling Zerglings to the main, to the natural, sorry, it can hurt a lot. Yep. Army's moving out. What's going to happen? Third base for Zerg is there. Armies are going to meet in the middle of the map. Nice. Good lots reaction. of Banelings cancelled, moving away. But he had to. If he didn't, then they would be all dead. Yeah, that's correct. That that said, uh, that said, he, he wants those banelings. He's gonna probably build them now from the base. We have the okay. mine this time, who's gonna actually try to move as fast as far forward as it can to prevent the army from running behind and try to make a huge hit. I mean, this could go either way. Yeah, I don't think he has enough banelings to defend we against that. We have the split from Matt's time getting ready, like trying to abuse the Terran positioning again, doing his stem a little bit in the middle of 
nothing because it doesn't attack. But once takes position, the Bailing is moving out. But the split is good, but there's too many Bailings and there's Zerglings from both sides. And with the Mutalisk, all the army's Ooh. gone again. I mean, but there's a mine. Will the mine? Ooh. And there's a second mine. I will demine it. A oh huge my hit. All God. the Zerglings died. That's that's huge. But How many kills? Still might have 21 kills. 21 kills on Zergling, but the Mutalisks are all there and taking yeah. down all the medevacs. Look at this. this is still huge for Zerg. I mean, yes, the, the mine... The mine, mine prevented the game from being bit, over, but. but it did not prevent Cubex from taking another huge lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it just bought him some time. That's it. <gasps> oh. And now oh, we oh, have oh, oh, uh, oh, oh. others. Okay. <laughs> One suicidal uh, pr drone who actually found the mines. The army noticing that, hey, we're, we're living in a minefield. <laughs> Let's bring the overseers around. Yep. Oh, and this one has and reloaded. Yeah, it has. Careful. But... Okay. But will it That's have good. time? No. Oh, oh yes, huh? it had uh, time to actually what it deal a little damage. We see <laughs> Mad Sai not taking his natural <laughs> turret, saying, I can't handle the army of Zerg is too big. I'm going to make a hidden expansion right where there is creep. <laughs> but the creep does not see <laughs> it. <laughs> so he's going to just move away because he sees it. I That's don't, awesome. I, I don't know. That's really cool. That's That's very funny. Actually, <laughs> I don't know if he knows that Zerg does not see him. I don't know. As Terran, I would not assume I'm 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 safe there. Yeah, I, I would really not. I guess, <laughs> but if he he's, is. Yeah, if he's building the VC, uh, this SVC, then it's okay. Unless he just didn't look. Maybe I don't know. Still, he, he's staying. Oh. He's staying. <laughs> so, but we have the army moving top. Yeah. Oddly enough, it's gonna fall straight on the. The Zerg's army. So here goes Zerg saying, oh, you're out of position. Let <laughs> me just kill everything. <laughs> but no, the Terran playing safe, moving away. Down. But then the third yeah. is going to fall. Now, take note that Cubix does not know Mad Sai as a hidden base where he yeah. has creep. And because of that, he thought he just sniped the third. Yeah. Actually, in this, this hidden base from Mad Sai is actually pretty well placed. I'm I'm surprised, you know, Cubix doesn't attack more. He's he must be thinking I'm in a lead, you know, or Cubix I want to check. Cubix is going ultra disc again. Yeah, uh, we same can as see last the Dan is underway. Ooh, and the doom drop. Look at this. And once he has the once he has the ultra disc, it's again going to be very hard for Terran. Uh, he's now, the second expansion. We we see Cubix wanting to prevent <gasps> at all costs Terran oh, to be oh, on oh, tree oh, base, oh. but he doesn't know he is already on tree base. <laughs> I think he's. So oh, he will see it now. There you go. No, Small medivac. Uh, the medivac. No reaction. Creep. But that said, all the armies at the at the third, and there's two medivacs coming from every direction. This drop could deal a lot of damage. Yeah. Now, yeah, yeah, however, yeah. if the army sees those medivac, he, everything yeah. could change. <gasps> and yeah, here the mutilists, oh oh they're move. No. One medevac falls, the second one no. falls too, and the third trunk gun try to escape, Oof. but no, that is a huge loss oh. from that side. I mean, yeah, he did two <laughs> drops, but now the hidden third just gonna fall. And and uh, the army is back in time to prevent Double at drop. least one of the drop to deal damage. Oof. And a medevac cannot escape. That's I think huge. We saw like five medivacs being sniped. Yeah, instantly. this snipe, this snipe, I think is the end of the game. I mean, yeah, and and yeah, he killed what? Look at this uh, unit. Just he killed he killed the, the spawning pool, but but who cares <laughs> at this point? Oh. All Terran's army is dead. And and what? Okay. One seventy nine supplies to one and nine, and now the upgrades are going to be even because Zerg's going to be three, uh, three, three, three very three soon. And, yeah, uh, and we have the ultra disc underway. Yeah, so. I'd I mean, <laughs> there's another bunch of full, fully loaded medevac. I mean, Terran can produce like crazy. It's interesting to see like how fast the army can come back. Yeah. But, but it's not enough. The Zerg army is too big, and Zerg's on three base. Terran's still on only okay. one base now because yeah. every well, he's on two base, but both are mined out or almost mined out. Yeah. And here's the Zerg army of doom moving, gonna prevent. Uh, this is CV from doing anything. Oh, uh, but okay. the drops moving and like Mad Sai needs to win some time, which is what he's trying to do with the drops. But he could lose all his army again, and if he loses that army, he I must mean, drop very s s quickly, quickly, quickly. Here's the, the army. The, the mine needs to borrow to, to make a huge hit, but like there's so many 
Uh, Mutalisk, I mean, not even those Marines can stop him. And now the Ultraisk are there. Marines against Ultraisk are not going to be sufficient no. with this level of upgrades. Terran army just melting away. So, no, the counterattack will not be what brings Mad Sai back. Aww. There are mines. And mines, mines are still there. But, well, there's so much you can do with mines. Yeah. And especially against, you know, <laughs> this, this unit huge an army. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... Uh, Cubic's knows his opponent to starve. He, he, he yeah. doesn't have to attack anymore. Trades like this are to the advantage of Cubic's. But uh, against Utralisks, mines won't do much, I think. Especially like, against those many. Yeah, but it might kill the Banelings. The yeah. problem for Mad Sai is that anything he builds right now is very vulnerable to Banelings. Yep. And if it's not, the Ultralisk will take care of it. <sighs> Whoa. Here's the a oh. huge hit, but even How those huge kills? hits are not enough. 16 and 9. <laughs> even That's those crazy. huge hits, the army's too big. Yeah. Like, it, it doesn't. The, an overseer coming saying this time, oh, wait, <laughs> yeah, it's true, you have mines. <laughs> That's bad, however. It actually detonated with Banelings. And he must put all his workers in, you know, repair mode, because this is going to fall so quickly. This is going to fall very quickly. And Ooh. even with repair, it's yeah, not going to be enough. Down. The Ultras deal so much damage. And now with the army moving in and the Overseer's making sure there's no mines just shenanigans. <sighs> he's not this. even caring for the turret. He's just going to go <laughs> directly for production. And even if your turret is still mining, if you have no buildings, yeah. look at those Banelings just swarming just in. <laughs> but they're, they're moving out. He wants to keep them. He doesn't want yeah. to do the, the little show of Banelings <laughs> killing everything. He wants oh, to make sure shame. he wins uh, if the army's in. But okay. then the expansion and the GG, and so GG. it's Trio. Mad side defeated Trio by Cubics. Wow, Ooh. congratulations. We have the Bane Links <laughs> who are just going to destroy the turret. Wanted to do a little show for us. Oh. Uh, everyone loves Bane Link busts. So, uh, so, yeah, that's it. We're having uh, Mad Sai who's trying there to uh, force his opponent to quit after he said GG to get a, <laughs> a free victory. But no. <laughs> no, not going to work. Not going to have it there. So oh, lots wow. of troll from uh, from uh, Mad Sai. So wow, trio, uh, very very good games. Same build three times in a row. I I wouldn't have that done that if I was uh, Mad Sai, but maybe it's the only bet he, he felt enough at ease with to actually defeat his opponents, and he knew Cubix went Mutalisk every game. I mean, Marines are good against Mutalisk, uh, Mutalisk, so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I would have done different if I was Mad Sai. Yeah. And I just realized that for game three, uh, the game window was small on the <laughs> lower <laughs> right corner, and they saw all of your face. Oh, you saw me all along. Yeah. I, hope I didn't do anything weird. I did a mistake. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> well, you saw a small game with <laughs> me casting all of it. <laughs> oh, man. That, what did you think of these three games? Well... Uh, I'm surprised at how it went down. I mean, I know both players are very good. I know uh, we, I know we couldn't know in advance who was going to win. I mean, both players have a very strong level of play. Uh, considering that Mad Sai usually practices a lot uh, against what his opponent's going to do, but that this time he didn't know until Monday, might have hurt him a lot in his practice uh, games. Yeah. Um, on the other end, uh, even if Cubix practiced a lot, it's uh, still a very, very interesting uh, game for him because, well, he's not maining a Zerg usually, so interesting. We saw three very different games from the exact same games, uh, exact same builds, so it's interesting too. Uh, do not worry, by the way, about the replays. I guess we're gonna put them. Uh, we're gonna put them just the replays. Uh, Available to you guys? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we can maybe put them on the UGL website. Yeah. So and if you want to see them uh, in a real screen <laughs> <laughs> and not just me talking. And, uh, and well, the in the chat, Joe Kulov suggested that we do a recast of the of the replay. You know, yeah, just we like could, we could recast yeah. at least that game uh, for uh, well, to 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 put on stream. So so yeah, really sorry about this, guys. Video. A <laughs> small mistake on game three, uh, although yeah, it looked very similar to the first two games. Didn't you it, think it did? It did look similar. Uh, as I keep saying, it was, but it's very similar on the build side of things. Mm -hmm. Very similar, but very different on the execution side That's of things. 
That's Every true. game had their little differences uh, on how it was played. Like game one, uh, I believe Matt Sai actually had a, a lead at some points. It was going well for him, but mm -hmm. few uh, nice bailing busts and stuff like made... Um, Uh, Cubics come back yeah. on the others and on, on game two uh, Cubics took the lead very very early on with uh, some push that uh, mm. could not be defended by the 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 wall of uh, of Mad Side yeah. and on just game too many three, bailings on game three the attack just came too late so Mad yeah. Side actually defended pretty well was going okay but then he lost some and came back there was a lot of mm -hmm. going back and forth in game three that There was not in the first two games. Yeah. First two games, as soon as Cubic started winning, well, he started winning. Yeah. This time, uh, positioning and upgrades did a magnificent job for, uh, mm. well, for Matt Sire. Yeah. That, that's how he got back. That's basically. how he got back, but it wasn't enough. Yeah. He couldn't get it stirred up ever. Yeah, and when he lost all the, the medivacs with uh, yeah, the mutilisks. This, this was the like, point of no return. There was this moment where he went with three medivacs on the side and the mutilisks just like, sniped them one after the other. It was really impressive. Yeah, and, and like the three medivacs falling like when they move out yeah. and then the medivacs at the expansion getting fouled by the zerglings going back home and the uh, actual other drop not able to deal damage in time Like it killed what the spawning pool and maybe the the spire. I'm not even sure, mm -hmm. but if it even if it did kill that, <laughs> losing everything to kill a spawning pool and a spire is not worth it. No, because Zerg's just gonna make it back. That's it. And you just win some time, but you don't kill the opponent. And I I liked how he killed the the third base at the beginning. That bought him some time. Yeah, that but after that, he didn't do like a a switch of some kind. You know, he had show more marauders, more mines, but it wasn't enough to really counter all the main links and then the ultralisks. There's nothing you can do. Yeah. Mm. Totally agree with you on that. So, very good games. Very well played by uh, by um, Vincent. Yep. Uh, I'm very surprised at how good his off race is. Uh, <laughs> I'm impressed. That's true. Seriously. And we're just waiting for them. There's going to be a, a quick interview. Yeah, and maybe gonna, we can We're going to give him his little trophy. Yeah. Um, And since we have a bit of time, should we just re replay the the replay <laughs> with them commenting over it, like having their impressions on how yeah, they played? Yeah, we could that could be that. fun because we have a, a bit of more a bit of time to. Uh, well, we had initially because it was the best of five. We had initially planned almost two hours just in case, uh, and since it was like three one three win for uh, Vincent, uh, it's finishing earlier than scheduled. Yeah. Uh, before we forget, however, since the games are over, I'm going to still uh, just present the fact that uh, UGL, the tournament is over. Yep. Uh, Vincent is our grand champion. Uh, UGL, however, is not over. We're still making games. We're still playing stuff. We're still going to showcase. Right now, we're in between seasons. Mm -hmm. So there will not well, be Well, we just cast. announced yeah, season three. We just announced season three. People are subscribing. Uh, games are starting. So we're not going to uh, start anything just yet. We're not going to have game. Players are arriving right now. So yep. uh, Mathias is going to answer to them. But as I was saying, uh, we're hey. not presenting everything <laughs> uh, just yet because the games are not started. We're still in subscribe mode. So if you want to play and you're a Ubisoft employee, uh, go to the UGL website and subscribe to any of the games. We have uh, Rocket League, Just Dance, Artstone, and Dota 2 for this season. Um, and take note that... Uh, Some of those games will be casted, most probably Hearthstone and Dota and Re Rocket League 2, however. So everything except Just Dance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're still not sure which games and who's going to cast and everything, so uh, you have to wait. <laughs> But it's going to be there. Keep up. Uh, we're going to send messages as soon as it starts, and we're still going to try to do a few casts every week or so. So, uh, Vincent, your trophy, congratulations. Thank you. You won. Uh, are you happy? <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. Did I'm you really practice happy. a lot? I practiced for two weeks. And the only last two Zerg, weeks. right? You knew we were going to play Zerg yeah, from the start. Yeah, and he didn't That was great. <laughs> so, uh, um, Jean-Benoit, did you practice against Protoss? I practiced a bit against <laughs> Protoss. <laughs> But uh, I practiced a bit, a bit against Protoss, but I, I had only two days to prepare builds against Zerg, so I went with what I knew, which is basically SCV pulls. Yeah. <laughs> We noticed that you actually both did the exact same thing all game long and managed to make the game always very different, actually. <laughs> but you, well, exact same. One, once you made a Reaper, but like, was mostly always uh, 
Ling Bane Ling's into Muta and to Ultralisk. And mm. on the other side was always Marines Marauder with Mines at some point. Uh, yeah. Always like both player very strong. I mean, I understand you keeping the same strategy all game long. Why change a winning strat, right? Yeah, and uh, the Zerg composition for Zerg in the mid game is is a bit better. Like usually, I should transition to Tors or something or more Why mines. Why didn't but, you? But uh, because I'm not that used to it, so improvising <laughs> it would have uh, would have destroyed my macro probably. All right, and. On your side of thing, Vincent, uh, like, did did you know like uh, Jean Benoit would go the mm, bo all games? Like, what did you practice, or did you just have one build and it just turns out to go well? Uh, I I practiced against uh, pretty much all build and some cheese, but like I thought you would go sometimes mech or just but like it's it's hard to say because I didn't know all his playstyle. I knew would he would drop and uh, he started dropping third game. But like uh, before that, I was feeling uh, a little bit. Uh, I don't know how to say. I was just waiting for the drops, and I was just building army and waiting for him to make a move to react. Yeah, uh, yeah you were very passive. At a lot of time, we felt you could have been more aggressive and trade because since your opponent was on one or two base and you had like three or four all the time, I mean, just killing a few units and rebuilding because you were max. Could could at least have made sure he didn't get too huge of an army. But obviously, it was working fine. I mean, is there a point where you were scared you were going to lose one of those games? Uh, third game, when he when he killed my, my third base, I was feeling a little weird because I, I was like, okay, so if if he has a third base, um, it's over. Like, I'm, I'm done. And I tried to scout and see what he was doing, and I couldn't figure out if he, has a third, he had a third or anything but i think he didn't until a long time i, ago I had a third cc in my base but i didn't feel safe to move out until a while and it was not enough about that third cc i have a question you actually moved it into a hidden place yeah. and you actually moved it into a little place where there was creep, creep. i didn't know if there was a tumor really? to see it but there was no tumor the tumor was on the other yeah, side of I, the cliff I, so it could not see i was you. betting I was like, is, the he, gonna, is yeah. he gonna move on? i saw the creep and i thought <laughs> Is he seeing it? I thought if he has a if he has a tumor off like up oh, the, up the middle the hill, base. The yeah. Middle left. Oh, okay, yeah. He had a base it, there for a long, I didn't long see it. Well, time. I, I I threw like seven mules there. Yeah. something. but there was creep right by it, and I was yeah. like, I would never. But have but, dropped but now you can send tre creep tumors through the hill, right? I mean, yeah, but he had no vision at all. No, but do you need another unit to give vision to your yeah. tumor? Yeah. Oh, you I do. thought they fixed that. I thought you could place no. the tumor inside the ramp and then no. go further. You oh, need okay. you need to actually see. Well, if it, there's a ramp actually, but there was yeah, no ramp there. Oh, there was go. no ramp. No. Oh, there's, there's a there's rock. A ramp. I, I think there's a rock. I actually don't know why the creep spread across that gap because <laughs> there's no ramp. But <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we can uh so, yeah, I so know, you guys uh, you Here's guys, what I know. I should have attacked. <laughs> you guys uh we're going to do something special. We're going to have you guys cast your own third game. Oh god! <laughs> because uh, we casted it with only my face on screen and no visual. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. It was a visual. It was well, yeah, like oh. this. We casted it like this, but my face instead of the game and the game instead of our oh, faces. Oh wow! Okay. So yeah. since we have a little time, <laughs> we decided to redo the game. Uh, and since you're here, we're gonna have you cast your game so you can give your inputs on how you sure. feel and what's going on. <laughs> so, uh, well. So, so while uh, while it starts, could we discuss like? Maybe game one or game two. Game one was pretty straightforward. I lost yeah. because I didn't expand. <laughs> That's correct. Game two was even faster. You lost straight yeah, when I, your I bunkers could not defend anything. I moved out with my seven units and I encountered his circling baneling and I was dead right there. Yeah, game two I saw I saw your units moving. I had the changeling, so I saw everything. And I saw your workers and then I tried to just surround you, but your workers were just sitting behind, so I just Killed everything. Oh yeah, yeah. You mean at the end of the game? Yeah, yeah. But the game was done before that. Like okay. I pulled because it was a desperate attempt because I knew you were in such a lead at that point. In game two, right? At, when, when I attacked. G game two. When you I pulled, were never in a good yeah, shape. Yeah, exactly. Ever, ever, ever. So the, the moment the game was lost was when I wanted to do my six unit pressure. I moved out. And I encountered his speedlings and banelings ready, and they killed my arm. That that that's 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 that was the game. game right there. 
Uh, game one, well, I didn't expand because I thought I could do enough damage, but there's there was a moment where I almost went for drops. I saw a changeling die in my army right after I sent the drops. <laughs> so I thought, I thought I can't send them because he has seen it, but he didn't. He actually didn't. He, I, so, so I could have sent the drops and I probably could have made something out of that game. But instead, I chose to just go and attack front, which didn't. Oh, that was terrible. In, the, in a success.